So here we are, step seven, video posting settings. And this is where we have all the fun. First of all, Hangout Millionaire comes with the ability for you to rank your videos in specific geo locations, which is awesome for local listings. To find the geo locations, you click on here. It brings up this window. Simply enter the address and if your local business that you are promoting is already got a Google Plus entry, type that exact address in and you'll get the specific longs and lats for that location. For this example, I'll do Gold Coast, Queensland. So there it is there. And you copy the longitude and latitude, control C. Control V to paste, and the same for the longitude. So we've entered that latitude and longitude data, and that is then presented and entered into your YouTube video, YouTube account for the specific videos that are made. It's also added to the blogger blogs that the software creates as well, so they have the opportunity to rank well on those locations as well. Plus, you're getting a link back to your Hangout videos and to the website you were promoting from a blogger blog that has these longitude and latitude data entered. So now we move on to the upload title. In this example, I'll put that in a text file so you can see. So here we have the title in our text document. The main thing to understand with the title is that it is YouTube has put a limit of 100 characters for the title. In the title, we have the opportunity to use the keyword token plus spin tax. So how do we find how many characters are in our title once we're using a lot of spin tax? I'll show you. Delete everything from your description, place it in a text file. Paste. Delete. Delete all that. Get your title here. Copy. Paste. And now click on check spin tax. So what that shows us is we've got a keyword token, a keyword token here. So we've got two keywords in the title, which is important for high rankings in YouTube plus Google. And we've got the spin tax. So we know the length of our keyword phrases in the next window, you'll enter your keyword phrases. You need to find the longest keyword phrase in characters. And for this example, I've got the keyword in that title twice. So if that longest keyword phrase was 35 characters that would be 70 which means 70 plus 39 is 109 so that would be too long in this specific project I know that none of the characters are over 25 so that means looking at the, the count there the maximum I've got is 50 plus so I'm within the 100 character limit Notice the different spin on the phone number and here. So each title it produces will be different. The same keyword twice but different characters in between and at the end. That is the optimum way to do it. If you're using longer keyword phrases, just use the keyword token once in the title. Under the tags field, you have the same options as the title. A keyword token with option of spin tax. Typically I use the keyword phrases. I use all the keyword phrases that I'm targeting and use spin tax in there like this. In this instance I didn't use spin tax, I just got all the keyword phrases in there. Then you select a category or choose random, it will choose a different category every time it creates a video. Now back to the description. That is the description there. Now notice, this is the description here. I've got the URL using spin tax. So what I'm doing here is giving links to the internal pages. On one spin it will be that one. The next it will be this one. 
I think I've got about 10 in there. So every time it produces a video, it creates a link to a different internal page. And then an article, which is spun. I did that by hand. It takes me about 20 minutes to do it by hand. And I suggest people do it by hand. You only need to do it once, and then you get a really nice spun article. Then we have the table of contents token, the link wheel token, the VCN wheel token, and the, the title token. The table of contents produces like this. So here's, here's a video I made previously on the 26th of July. So there is the, the link. This is one of the spins of the article, etc. Another link down there. This here is the table of contents. It, it puts one, two, three, four, five timestamps to different locations in the video chosen randomly. And it then pulls five different keyword phrases from the keywords you add in the software to give you nice LSI content. Every time it produces a video, it pr supplies five different keyword phrases chosen randomly. This here is the is the link wheel. That the link to that video is the video cre created previous to when this video was made. So the software stores the links of the videos created and then puts a link to the previous video created in the next description of the next videos for awesome indexing and linking purposes. This link here is from the VCN wheel. That is a link to one of the sites on the VCN network. So we get a link pointing to that video that's hosted on the VCN network, which has got a link pointed back to your Hangout video and also to your money site. So it's a nice tiered link strategy. And the title tag produces a duplicate of the title that was created up the top, which is awesome for helping to get your video ranked. You also see I've got other YouTube video links here. I put them in there to help give links to those videos to help them get higher boosted in Google and YouTube, etc. I put links to those videos that are in the tougher niches to help give them the boost in the rankings. And also it's important to note you can cross-pollinate between different projects. So you can put links down here from other projects. So you're giving links from other accounts, other YouTube accounts, back to other YouTube accounts and Google or YouTube really likes that. You will need to review the PDF documents to go through the tokens, etc. But what I've got here is your typical default awesome working profile. And lastly, we've got the spin text button. You have your article spun, you've got all your content in there. We have a character limit of 4,500 characters in a YouTube description. So you can, if it's over that, the description won't be posted. So use this tool here to check how many characters are in your description. And you can see the different spins. Going back to the spin text I use for the URL, you can see that changing up there. So each different video produces a link to a different internal page. Only one more window to go and we are nearly there.